All right, welcome to another episode of Contemporary Living. Hey, beautiful, I see you. And we got another movie review for tonight. This is our last one for tonight. And we're going to take you down the road to Bill Street. But before we get started, Melissa's going to talk about how you can save some money. Because we all about saving money. Movie <laughs> discounts. All right. Today is Wednesday, so if you do not go to... The movies yesterday, you missed $5 Tuesdays with free popcorn. It is always available on Tuesdays, $5. Um, $5. Holla. $5. Holla. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can also, if you've served and you have your military ID, you've got military discounts. They have at each theater, whether it's Imagine, whether it's AMC, whether it's Marcus Theaters, whatever your particular choice is, they have rewards members where you can collect points and get free stuff and different things like that. So make sure you sign up for that. And then Groupon. There's always a deal on Groupon. Yeah. Tiffany Haddish has already told you that. And last but not least, if you belong to a professional association, Andre and I belong to a real estate association, Realty One Group. Uh, they also have discounts on movies and dinners and things like that. So make sure... Because movies cost, especially if you're going inside and getting a meal and doing all that, make sure you take advantage of these movies discount, these the movie discounts I just talked about. All right, so we're gonna um, jump right into it. Yes, we're gonna look at this trailer that Bill Street could talk, and then we'll be back with our reviews. Yeah, baby. When I was growing up, I was trying to make a connection between the life I saw and the life I lived. There are days when you wonder what your role is in this country and what your future is in it. This is one of them. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean none of that for you. I love you. You know that. I do. And I understand what you're going through because I'm with you. The things that tormented me the most were the very things that connected me with all the people who were alive. tell you a story, if I may. Okay, welcome back. I hope you like the trailer, if Bill Street can talk. You want to get your review first, or you want me to go first? <laughs> I'll go first. That, okay, she's going to go first. Right. So, this is, this is a movie based upon a book uh, written by James Baldwin. Uh, it is a a tragic story it's a it's a real story because even to this day we're still experiencing uh, what the main character Fani and his family and Kiki Lane Tish Rivers the character that she played we're still experiencing those types of things to this day um, but the movie was really I, I, I got mixed feelings here. And the reason I got mixed feelings is because the movie, the way it was directed, the, the characters pulled out all the emotion. They pulled out, I mean, they, there was some great acting in this film. 
but I think some of the some of the parts just dragged on too long and you lost focus of the movie. You lost you lost focus. I think if they would have cut it by 30 minutes, it would have been a really I could I could say it's a really good movie. I think if you just if you just look at the the storyline because it's so real and it's still happening today, uh, you know, how we're going to jail falsely being accused of, of things, crimes we didn't commit, and then, you know, having to do deals and things like that. But it shows you the love of a family and what a parent would do for their child. I mean, it, it's a very poignant movie. But I will tell you, I got lost in some of the, it did not keep my attention for the entire movie. But the characters and Regina King, she did her thing. I mean, everybody did their thing, and that movie has some great acting in it, but the story was just too long and drawn out, drawn out, just like my review here, so I'm going to let you get, so I will give it a, I'm going to give it a watch, and the reason I want to give it a watch is because of the storyline. I, like I said, I have mixed feelings about it, but it's a very poignant movie, it's still relevant, it's very relevant, but, uh, she it's just too long. Here you go. She didn't like it. That's why I had to, she had to go through that two hours. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't like the movie because well, it had, it had no, good meaning. I, I didn't like the movie. I'm going to just be honest with you. I didn't like the movie. I thought it was long and drug out. Um, it's the typical story of the whole black individuals that's 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 struggling, trying, trying to make it. Um, you just don't like black movies like that. Uh, <laughs> no. I, I, it's I, I, happening. Yeah, it's not but, but it's at the point, it's like, um, I'm tired of seeing it. Now, now, if you want to get it to the point of, if, if, if you love the art of acting and far as the craft of acting, well, then, hands down, this movie, that's why yes. it got the Golden Gloves. Um, that's why it's gonna, probably going to get nominated for some academies as well, because the acting itself was excellent. Oh, man. Um, you had some excellent actors that, 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 that you know, especially like the, the romance scene between uh, Fani and Tish. Um, they, I think the the couple they did good, as far as that that's concerned. Mm -hmm. There was times I fell asleep in and out the movie. I dozed off about three Actually times. Off. It seemed like when when Regina King came on scene, um, she sparked the movie, um, lifted it up when it was when when it was dragging. Yeah. And, but even Regina King had short roles in this movie. Yeah, in this she didn't movie, have even a whole a, lot of. Uh, yeah, she didn't have a whole lot of scenes. She's, yeah, she's not even a lot though. Of scenes. Not about, right, uh, even though she got the Golden Glove um, no, nomination and like she won, um, she's probably going to go on to win um, supporting actress as far as the Academy as well. So, so I predict that Regina King will earn her first Academy Award Yay! In two, 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 as well. <laughs> but overall, she said, "Watch it." I'm saying we're going to wait it. I'm waiting the movie. And I'm um, watching. The movie. She's going to watch the movie. I probably will never watch this movie again. <laughs> If I go into somebody's house and see it on TV, that's probably the only time I see this movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you gonna tell them to turn the TV because uh, you just see it. No, no, don't get mad. No offense. You know, I, I, a lot of women like this movie because they like the romance part yeah. and stuff like that, which is it good. It was a very was, right. romantic story. Yeah, I think it's a very, very romantic lovely, story. Very emotional. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I think I'm just tired of the scenes, uh, the injustice, the movie about the injustice to black people, um, the injustices we face. Um, which they are out there. Don't get me wrong. Right. Um, and the, the struggling and, and things like that. I'm just tired of black folks continue to write these type of movies. I'm just be honest with you. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Can, can we get more creative with our writing with some sci-fi type, Harry Potter type movies? <laughs> I'm just rumbling on right now. <laughs> but other than that, no, I'm waving it. I ain't recommended it. Um, but I'm gonna give it a C plus. I, I recommend it for a five dollar Tuesday. I think it was fine. All right, so there you have it. I'm probably going to get scorned. I'm probably going to get tortured, and, and people are going to be throwing stones at me for my review on this one here. Nothing but, wrong hey, with that. There's nothing wrong with it. That's my opinion. Yep. They will go on. They sold millions. They're going to do great things. And They've they, already done great things. Yeah, Hasn't she they, already won Golden Globe? Yeah, so they already have done great things. Right. But this, I'm, I'm waving it. She's watching it. Mm -hmm. Watch the movie. Give us your opinion. Comment below. 
Follow us on Facebook, mm-hmm. Contemporary Living with Farming Hill. All that. Follow us on YouTube, Contemporary Living with Farming Hill. Yep. And tune in to our show, Contemporary Living with Farming Hill, on Comcast <laughs> Channel 19, every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Wait, since we're on Farming Hill, and if you want to write a check, write it out to Farming Hill Enterprises. Thank you. All right. Now, just in case, I'm just saying. Oh, you just write out to Andre Hill. Just, just put it out there. Peace. It don't matter. Good night. <laughs>